Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Barb. I'm Dr. Barb Lenahan, a veterinarian here to answer all of your questions about animals. I have been getting some fantastic questions from a lot of you, and today I'm going to be answering questions about one of my absolute favorite animals on the whole planet, dolphins! Some of you may know I'm a marine mammal veterinarian, which means I am lucky enough to get to work with dolphins and sea lions every single day. And I could talk about marine mammals for days on end. So if I don't get to your questions in today's episode, please comment below with your questions or send them to me and I'll be sure to answer them in a follow-up episode. But let's get to today's questions. Let's lead us off with Kula. Hit it, Kula. question about dolphins was sent in from Harper in Mrs. Parham's third grade class in California. Harper wrote, do dolphins have scales? Thanks for the great question, Harper. Dolphins do not have scales. They have skin like you and I, but it is very specialized skin that is adapted to living in the ocean environment. Their skin is smooth and rubbery. A lot of people ask me what a dolphin feels like when you touch them. And the closest analogy I've found is that it feels like a wet hot dog. Their skin has no hair or sweat glands in it. Their outer layer of skin, known as the epidermis, is about 15 to 20 times thicker than ours. And it constantly turns over, meaning it's flaking off and new skin grows underneath. The reason for this, they can turn their whole outer layer of skin over in about two hours, and that helps them to be more aerodynamic, so there's less drag as they swim through the water. Hey, wait a minute. I just told you that dolphin skin doesn't have hair, but they're mammals, and all mammals have hair, right? Right. So dolphins do have hair at one point in their life. When they are born, they actually have adorable little whiskers along their rostrums or snout that fall out shortly after birth. These tiny little hairs are thought to help them with nursing milk from mom. These little hair follicles leave behind tiny little dots on their rostrum that they'll have forever. Isn't that cool? Dolphins have gray skin on their backs and white skin on their bellies and underside. This is called countershading, and it's actually camouflage for the ocean. This countershading helps them blend in, so predators can't spot them easily. From above, their dark gray skin on the back blends in with the water, and from below, their light bellies blend in with the bright surface when you're looking upwards. Who might try to eat dolphins, you ask? Well, luckily, they have few natural predators, mostly sharks and sometimes orcas will try to eat them. Our next question is from Carolyn in North Carolina. She sent in the question, do all dolphins have spots? Great question, Carolyn. Some dolphins have spots and others do not. It depends on the species. Did you know there are many different species of dolphins? Currently, there are about 40 known species. Growing up, my favorite dolphin was the dusky dolphin. Look how gorgeous they are. For our next question, Sam from Louisiana sent in the question, how do dolphins sleep? Okay, this is one of my favorite fun facts about dolphins. And we touched on this a little bit in the episode with chickens. So since dolphins are mammals and they need to breathe air at the surface, they can't exactly curl up with a pillow at the bottom of the ocean they would suffocate. So instead, they stay at or near the surface of the water and they literally sleep with one eye open, called unihemispheric slow wave sleep. They sleep with one half of their brain at a time while the other half of their brain stays functional and alert. This allows them to breathe at the surface and keep an eye out for predators, as well as staying together with their other dolphin friends. 
The eyeball opposite the sleeping half of the brain will be shut, while the other eye stays open to keep watch and see where their friends are. They can do this for up to eight hours a night. Other species of whales, dolphins, and porpoises sleep in the same way, and so do some species of birds. Pretty cool, right? Well, I could go on and on about marine mammals for hours. So for today, I will stop here, but please let me know what else you want to know by sending in your questions to my email address right here or by posting in the comments below right down there. Until next time, help out the wild dolphins and other animals by doing your part to take care of our oceans and planet every single day. Don't forget that every action you take can really change the future of our planet. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.